Well, hello. Uh, so today I am going to be starting my first classic of 2022, and we're starting with 1984. So I thought I would uh, just, I don't, I don't know, I guess, uh, make a video about the process and my thoughts about reading the first classic book that I have read in probably over a decade, for sure over a decade. So yeah, join me for this adventure. I'm going to be reading it on my uh, Kobo e-reader, and this is the cover of the book that was available um, in my library ebook collection. When I was reading 1984 around parts one and two, I visited my boyfriend who lives a couple of hours away by train. Um, so there we went for a walk at a nearby lake and I just found so many birds. I thought I would share some of this footage with you guys. I just absolutely loved standing there on the beach, listening to them honk and quack and just being in their existence. It was just so calming. Anyways, now that I'm done the book, I thought I would give you guys thoughts about the book itself as well as um, how reading my first classic went. During the time that I went on that trip, I discovered reading journals. Well, I had seen YouTube recommend some of uh, reading journal setup videos to me before, but I just never really actually ended up clicking on them um, just because I always assumed it would be some kind of spinoff on um, bullet journals. And a lot of bullet journals that I've seen before require a large amount of decorating and artistic upkeep just to um, continue it. And that's just not sustainable for me. So I just never, you know, watch the videos. And I always end up getting way too overwhelmed um, with bullet journal type journals and it's just never relaxing for me. But I did click on a video um, during when I was reading 1984 um, on a journal that caught my eye mainly because of how bare bones it looked. It had no decorations and it was just writing. Um, and after watching a few more reading journal videos that look similar, I decided to start my own reading journal. Um, and I wish that I could have seen those videos earlier because then I could have started my reading journal when I started reading books in 2022. Um, but instead, I have only a journal entry for the third book that I read this year, not for the first two. So anyways, I started my very simple reading journal. All I'm going to do is to write a one-page hypnosis and then copy down some quotes that I found impactful enough to highlight while I was reading the book. So here it is. Um, I'll do a very quick brief overview of what it looks like. Um, at the end of the video, I'll read out some quotes that I thought were important enough to highlight. So 1984 is a dystopian novel that depicts a totalitarian government and is a commentary on what might happen to the world if we let governments do whatever they want, which may or may not have some interesting parallels with some existing governments of today, but uh, we won't talk about that too much. Um, so this was this totalitarian government was only possible because um, education and free thought were so limited that over time people became complacent to not having any personal freedom. And for those who do have the audacity to think for themselves, they are vaporized and cease to exist, creating this environment where the leaders of the country have ultimate power over their people. The book follows Winston, the main character, who is a member of the Outer Party um, and has a secret. He hates Ing Sok, or, you know, the government uh, in this book, um, and everything that Oceana, the place he lives, has become. He starts to do things that show his rebellion, including buying a paper journal and writing things like down with Big Brother, as well as starting a romantic relationship with somebody else. 
I won't spoil how the book ends, but 1984 discusses many different themes, including repressed sexuality, a lack of freedom, and sense of self, the idea of history and truth, the rich versus everyone else, family relationships, and compulsory conformity. It's quite peculiar to me that um, I've chosen to read this book just as you know, different internet spaces like r slash anti-work and movements like the Great Resignation have become very popularized. So in this parallel universe, the only reason that Big Brother and his and this government came about is because they were worried that the Industrial Revolution would raise the average income and they, they didn't want the masses to figure out that the ultra-rich are nothing special. Thus, they created a war as a conspiracy set up by the elite um, of the three super states that exist in this world as an excuse to destroy a lot of the materials that were produced in an attempt to keep the majority of people so poor so that the rich could retain their status. Overall, I was very surprised by how much I actually enjoyed reading this book. I remember that um, the last time is when I tried to read classical books like a whole decade ago. I could barely get through the book and I found that flipping through each sequential page would become increasingly more difficult. And I did find it a bit difficult in the beginning um, as I was getting started with 1984 just because some of the sentence structures and paragraph structures were longer than what I was used to. And um, because I read on a Kobo reader, um, by the time I would start a sentence and finish the sentence, I would have to flip a page and then by the end I would get to the, by the time I would get to the end of the, um, the sentence, I would already have forgotten what the beginning of the sentence was about. Um, but thankfully, I quickly got used to that. And that stopped being a problem by about 10% through the book. Um, I really enjoyed how blatant this book was with its themes um, that it wanted to, to talk about. So George Orwell really just laid it out and there was no subtlety. And I think that this really worked um, for the message that he was trying to get across with the book. Um, so call me a bit thick skulled, but sometimes if the point is too vague or too subtle, I miss it. Um, so I'm glad that this first classic that I got to pick up was the opposite of subtle. I feel like it really um, helped me in the reading process. So if you guys are also uh, have a classic book fear, I, I would recommend 1984 as a starting point because it definitely will spell everything out uh, for you. All right, I think I'm just going to read some of the quotes that I found really impactful for this um, book. Let me know if you guys want a flip through of my reading journal. I'd be happy to, to do that after, um, you know, I have more entries. But starting with the quotations, I've just marked them with green sticky so I can remember which ones to read. You don't grasp the beauty of destruction of words. Do you know that Newspeak is the only language in the world whose vocabulary gets smaller every year? In the end, we shall make thought crime literally impossible because there will be no words in which to describe it. His powers of sweating were extraordinary. At the community center, you could always tell when he had been playing table tennis by the dampness of the bat handle. I just thought that one was really funny. Your worst enemy, he reflected, was your own nervous system. At any moment, the tension inside you was liable to translate itself into some visible symptom. It struck him that in moments of crisis, one is never fighting against an external enemy, but always against one's own body. In a world in which everyone worked short hours, had enough to eat, lived in a house with a bathroom and a refrigerator, and possessed a motor car or even an aeroplane, the most obvious and perhaps the most important form of inequality would already have disappeared. If leisure and security were enjoyed by all alike, 
the great mass of human beings who are normally stupefied by poverty would become literate and would learn to think for themselves. And when once they had done this, they would sooner or later realize that the privileged minority had no function and that they would sweep it away. If he were allowed contact with foreigners, he would discover that they are creatures similar to himself and that most of what he had been told about them is lies. From the view of the low, no historic change has ever meant much more than a change in the name of their masters. Never, for any reason, could you wish for an increase of pain. Of pain, you could only wish one thing, that it should stop. Nothing in the world was so bad as physical pain. Perhaps one did not want to be loved so much as to be understood. I could float off this floor like a soap bubble if I wished to. I do not wish to, because the party does not wish it. You must get rid of these 19th century ideas about the laws of nature. We make the laws of nature. All right, and that was me reading 1984. Um, stick around the channel if you want to see more. Uh, but, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.